All right, we'll get into the study. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 and 4. It reads, For though we walk in the flesh, meaning we are living inside this mortal body, but we do not war after the flesh. So it's like a clear understanding your battle is not flesh. The weapons of our warfare are not canal to the pulling down of strongholds. Sorry, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting their imaginations and every item that exalts itself against the knowledge of the Father, the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Then I'll read the second scripture, Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Then we read 1 Timothy chapter 6. Verse 12, he said, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Now, we have looked at this warfare of the believer and we have seen the different dimensions of it. We have seen that the fight and the warfare always starts in the spirit. You must understand that the first thing we establish, the first teaching is that there's a war and that war is for your soul. All right. Everyone wants your soul to be in heaven, you know, and enjoying the best. Satan, who has been judged and cast into fire, has vowed to take as many human beings as possible with him by making them also to rebel against God, sin against God, so they can join him. So there's a war, there's a battle. And that's why every aspect of your life that the enemy comes against is with the intention of winning the war of taking over your soul. That's why you don't take anything lightly. You don't say, oh, it's just, um, it's just a little thing. No, it's not a little thing because the intention of that battle is to win the war, the war of getting your soul to, 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 to the lake of fire. And God forbid that in your life. So it's important for us to understand what the fight and the war really is. And then we now saw that the war starts in the spirit. It starts in the spirit. You have to fight in the spirit and win in the spirit. Then yesterday we saw that there's also the mind. You have to win the battle in the mind. That is very crucial. Then the third aspect which we are looking at today is that you win the battle in the physical too. So how do we fight in the physical? Do we go fighting people physically, demonstrating violence or probably carrying guns or bombs or whatever? What, how do we fight this battle physically? Now God has not ordained us to be physically violent. He has ordained that we should carry guns and then begin to shoot people or bomb or all, all that but the way you fight this warfare for your soul and for the souls of others that god is using you in the kingdom to help to keep in the kingdom and those that god is bringing into the kingdom all right the way to fight and win in the physical is through the fight of faith why because faith even though starts as a spiritual thing, which is believing and being totally convinced that what God has said is so. All right? It starts with that, but faith doesn't end with that. Faith ends with a physical, tangible action that proves and demonstrates what I believe. 
all right very important for us to understand that that's how you fight in the fiscal you fight the fight of faith you fight the fight of faith you fight the fight of faith so a lot of people miss it at that point they have believed god they bound all the spirits spiritually they've spoken against the strongholds in the mind and then they are now trying to study the world so that those strongholds will not come back but the word of god will replace it you know they have all that going on but they sit down and they do not take actions of faith hebrews in chapter 11 verse 1 he says now faith is and told us what faith is faith is the substance of things hoped for that is in the spirit substance assurance from god that what i'm hoping to get god is saying i will make sure it happens for you you understand so faith is first the substance of, it, of things so far then he now said also in that hebrews 11 1 he said faith is the evidence of things not seen so we can't see it but we need the evidence where are we showing the evidence in the physical the man that was paralyzed i was brought in by his friend and the house was filled and jump out and they had to open the roof to drop the man the bible said jesus seeing their faith said to the man your sins are forgiven you he saw their faith what did he saw he saw that action that total conviction that act ah, jesus can heal him and even though there was hindrance they opened another man's houses houses uh, house roof to drop this guy they were not afraid what the man would say or do they were ready to pay back and rebuild a, his roof but they just needed to get their friend to jesus and that was a great action of faith and power entered him and that was it he was healed he was the last to enter <laughs> but he was the first to go so faith is very essential and in the physical we fight the fight of faith we take positive actions towards what we are expecting we take take intentional actions towards where what we're expecting you're expecting some clients to come in you start reaching out to those kind of clients you start reaching out to those kind of clients you are taking the bold step of faith a lot of times people sit down they are not taking any step and that's why you are fought in the spirit you are fought in the mind you have won the two realms now the only realm that you need to win is the physical but we sometimes allow the physical circumstances that are happening to distract us or to move us up and down toast to and fro no take a step and move in the direction of what you are expecting from god move in the direction of what you are expecting from god call people go to the place go and set up a meeting go and start that thing go and initiate that process get in there and do something that proves that you believe faith is the evidence of things not seen so that helps us to win in the physical. That was also win the physical. You won in the spirit, you won in the mind, but now you need to win in the physical. And to win in the physical, you must. You must exercise faith. You must take actions of faith. You can't afford to sit down. You can't afford to fold your hands. You must take positive faith actions. This is necessary for victory. I want us to pray this morning and say, Father, I receive grace and wisdom to act in faith based on my belief and convictions. <clears throat> Every time in the name of Jesus, pray on that in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. So it's important. Take bold steps. Take bold steps. 
All right, let's do our confession. Remember the words you speak today creates the future you want tomorrow. Yes. And on PAD, we don't talk about what we are going through. We talk about where we are going to. As if we are already there. So say with me, say in the name of Jesus, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old things of sin, poverty, curses, plagues, lacks, they have all faded away. All things are new in my life. I walk in newness of life in the name of Jesus. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live inside this, my body. My spirit is in total subjection and submission to God. I am one spirit with the Lord. I enjoy an in that fellowship with the Father, the Word, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I enjoy an in that fellowship with God. I hear His voice. I engage Him in conversation every day. And I feel His presence. And I'm a carrier of the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, Makotaria, declare that in the name of Jesus, I am born of God. God is love. I am love. I walk in love. God is holy. I am holy. I walk in purity. God is righteous. I am the righteousness of God. I think right. I speak right. And I do the right. I think the word. I speak the word. And I'm a doer of the word. I am the righteousness of God. I am meek and lowly in heart. I have rest in my soul. I am the meek that inherits the earth in the name of Jesus. I have the spirit of humility and the mind of humility like Christ. I am submissive to God, his will and his counsel. And I walk in patience and humility. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I am the blessed, the one that is empowered to prosper, to go forward, to increase and be very great. I have the power to get wealth working for me now, drawing abundance in abundance, drawing in abundance, open doors and opportunities for wealth into my life. They have been fruitful and I've increased in wealth. I am the healthy one, for Jesus took the sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, affliction that should have come on me. He nailed them to the cross. He destroyed them there. I cannot be sick in the name of Jesus. I am the favored one. The sweet ointment of Christ is upon my life. My name, presence, thoughts about me, anywhere is as ointment perfect therefore people are stared to favor me to help me to support and assist me people are stared creations are stared to favor me to support me in the name of jesus i declare with long life the lord has satisfied me and all members of my household we live we do not die young in the name of jesus i declare in the name of Jesus, that we dwell in God's sacred place, under God's shadow. No evil can befall us there. No plague can come near us. The Lord is around us as a wall of fire. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I have gone out blessed today. I've come back blessed. I've been in the right places at the right times with the right people, doing the right things, obtaining my harvest. In the name of Jesus, I have excelled today. I am set above all, for I am from above, born of God. I am above all. In my industry and field, I am seated on the thrones of David and Christ. Therefore, the best of the industry and the field comes to me. In the name of Jesus, my home is God's habitation. Yes, I am a spouse where one. As the Father and the Son are one, our children are taught of the Lord. They know God from their tender age. They serve God all their lives and they are mighty on the earth. I manifest the fullness of Christ's character. Yes, thinking what he would think. 
saying what he will say and doing what he will do in all situations. I manifest the fullness of Christ's power. I cast out devils. I lay hands on the sick. They all recover. I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom. I have solutions at all times from the Holy Ghost to every challenge and situation. I manifest the fullness of Christ's presence. Everywhere I go, the presence of God soaks the place. Sinners are saved in that place. The devil flees. Yokes are broken. Powers of darkness are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I declare it is well with me. And I excel today. In Jesus' name, pray the Holy Ghost and speak into your day. Sometimes he said, God is not a talkative. I said, You have not met him. When you meet him, you might have heard about him. You might have experienced his hand in miracles, wonders done in your life. But if you have really met him, you will know he talks. He likes talking. He enjoys being with you.